Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Monroe Live. And um, today what we're gonna be doing is talking about windshield wipers, or actually windshield wiper. There's only one on this car. And um, <clears throat> Grace, why don't you take a shot of this thing? <clears throat> this is definitely a monster. Um, and so a lot of people have asked, first off, uh, what happens if you get snow load? And I can tell you for sure that it's not a problem. And the other question is, how does this thing work? So what we're gonna do is take you in the back and we're gonna show you all the bits and pieces and I'm gonna explain how um, this type of wiper um, actually works in this car. Okay, let's start out with the arm. Um, the arm is the steel part here. And um, here we've got the blade. And in the center, in the center we've got a connecting device and you'll notice that this thing's got a warp to it and it's like a curve and that's what holds it to the uh, to the windshield back here you've got a pretty much a standard construction <clears throat> for how you would normally make um, a wiper blade or sorry a wiper system and uh, and so what we're looking at is not extraordinary it's not revolutionary or anything it's just, uh, it's just the kind of way it works, only this is huge. You'll also notice that this is a big giant casting here, a die casting. So what you've got coming up through it is the uh, water system. So this connects onto a water bottle right here. <clears throat> and, um, and what we see here is that the water goes down and you can see it going along the inside of the um, wiper arm track snaps in place and then <clears throat> ultimately it goes to this central location here and this central location is where the water is streamed out in both directions so you see it uh, you see it along here and it squirts down right through the blade and into um, onto the windshield and that's what gives you your uh, that's what gives you your, uh, your uh, uh, water for washing the windows. So not much extraordinary here, except the extraordinary size. This thing is, like I say, gigantic. It's a huge, it's a huge piece of equipment, but <clears throat> it does work well. And as I mentioned, I had no problem with snow. We had uh, like four inch sill flaw or something like that. And it came off in no time flat. <clears throat> so let's get on to what makes this work. So these are generally termed uh, a bench, uh, sorry, a bell crank or a scotch yoke. There's a lot of different names for them. In essence, what happens is, and I can't move it because we haven't taken the electric motor off yet, but there's a little gear train in here. So the reason that the motor is so small is because it's a 48 volt. But what happens here is that it goes into <clears throat> uh, a worm gear which powers a bigger gear that's here. As the bell crank, the lower bell crank is moving, you can see that it hits a stop here and then it comes around and it hits a stop there. And that motion then <clears throat> is what pulls the slave around and turns the, uh, the driver, if you like, the driver or the driven. This is the driven, sorry. This is the driver bell crank, this is the driven bell crank, and this is the slave. And so when the driver moves from this location to that location, that pulls the slave around and then the driven bell crank is the one that's gonna be doing the moving and that's what basically moves the windshield wiper uh, back and forth. Now, <clears throat> this is really well done and um, it is massive compared to most, uh, compared to most uh, systems like that that are for wiper motors or wiper systems, but um, it's not the first. Uh, uh, lots of people have put this out, the most famous being Mercedes. Mercedes on their bigger class vehicles always used to have one, but they had um, a double, um, a double bell crank. So it would go up and then swoop in and then go down. So you kind of like got one wiper that basically gave you a graceful arc in two directions. That extra cam cost them a lot of money and um, uh, I presented it to a variety of different customers that we have that, are, that do uh, automotive kinds of work, but it was always rejected because it 
uh, cost so much more. With this one, you got one blade and basically it cleans both sides in one swipe. There's uh, virtually, uh, virtually no, uh, no part that you can see on the windshield that isn't caught by this one massive, uh, one massive wiper. So this is uh, kind of cool. Um, I like it. Uh, it has, it's very kind of impressive when you're in the car and, it's, uh, and you're in a, you know, like a snowstorm or a heavy rain. Uh, this thing really, really works well. So um, a little bit uh, about how a bell crank and, um, and wiper system work. So anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.